The spotlight was on Svetlana Alexeyevich in the days before the Nobel Prize ceremony. At the Swedish Academy in Stockholm, the Belarusian writer shared the impulse behind works of modern history cited as a monument to suffering and courage in our time. When I started writing, I wanted to understand who we are, what sort of people we are, why our lives are often so ugly, why nothing came out of this beautiful idea. I saw how the people around me suffered. I wanted to figure out all of this. Once little known outside the Russian-speaking world, Alexeyevich's books, oral histories from World War II to the Soviet collapse, were now flying off the shelves. But two months earlier, when the Nobel winners were announced, Alexeyevich said the authorities in Belarus were far from enthusiastic. The Belarusian government is pretending that I don't exist. I am not being published in Belarus. I can't speak publicly anywhere. At least I do not recall Belarusian state television ever giving me a call. In Belarus, sometimes called the last dictatorship in Europe, Alexeyevich is known as an outspoken critic of President Alexander Lukashenko and his ally, Russian President Vladimir Putin. State TV has declined to broadcast her appearance at the Nobel Prize ceremony on December the 10th. At her Nobel lecture in Stockholm on December the 7th, Alexeyevich spoke of the repressive climate in her home country and its roots in recent history. I will take the liberty of saying that we missed the chance we had in the 1990s. To the question, what kind of country should we have, a strong country or a worthy one where people can have a good life, we chose the former, a strong country. Now, again, we are living in an era of power. Though Alexeyevich's prize has been downplayed by official media in Belarus, others see this as a key moment for the country. Stefan Eriksson, a former Swedish ambassador who was expelled from Belarus, said the award is a chance for Minsk to begin reconsidering its political isolation. I hope that um, uh, Belarusians will, will gain from this uh, prize uh, uh, in the way they look upon themselves and, and uh, their place uh, in Europe and, and the rest of the world. As for the Nobel laureate herself, there's only one way to respond to her new honours. All I do is look for the truth, what I see and how I understand it. That's all I do. I repeat it once more. We have to calmly do our own job. For Alexeyevich, that means calmly continuing with her life's work of writing.